Like any child at his age, Paulo Vasquez wanted to play a video game before bed. Now the eight-year-old was charging his PlayStation when gunfire erupted from a drive-by shooter outside of his family's mobile home in Northeast Harris County, punching holes in the wall and hitting him once in the torso. Paul died on June the 12th, 2022, a year split in two as dozens of families in Harris County buried children killed in the shooting. This is the Bayou City Report coming at you with a very important topic and subject for the city of Houston. According to the Harris County Institute of Forensics, 60 children and teens under the age of 18 will die from gunshot wounds in the third most populous U.S. county in 2022. So if you didn't know, Harris County is the third most populous, like I just said, um, as of tw- as of today, actually, as of now, making the Houston area the youngest and most killed at least five years. The number includes 47 murders, 12 suicides, and one accident, all by gun violence. In contrast, New York police recorded 16 child murders during the same period, nearly twice the population, according to the New York Times. Across Harris County, boys and girls have been shot by relatives and friends, shot shot at in parking lots and driveways, and have had bullets hit their homes or cars. Some pulled the trigger with their own hands. All were killed before their hats were dropped at, at high school graduation. The number of gun-related teenage deaths in Harris County has doubled in the past five years, as lawmakers eased gun restrictions, residents armed themselves at record highs, and local gun thefts rose. According to the medical examiner's office, 34 children were killed by firearms in 2018. Since then, this number has increased every year. Meanwhile, as the pandemic worsens, Houston's homicides and violent crimes are expected to decline in 2022, and I've made some videos in the past as far as violent crime in the city. According to uh, police department data and city leaders, they have invested $53 million in a comprehensive violence reduction plan that includes youth outreach and gun buyback uh, campaigns. Once again, I talked about this in previous videos. Data shows that black and Hispanic children bear the brunt of this violence, mostly men, boys. Among the dead were Katy High School junior Brian Gomez, who always cleaned his room before going out with his partner, and Devon Jones, a popular and an athletic boy whose parents, teachers, and coaches were devastated by, his, by this loss. Six boys, all black or Hispanic, between the ages 5 and 17, were killed in the last two months of the year of 2022. Gunshot wounds are the leading cause of death for children in the United States. At the same time, fewer children are dying in car crashes as technology improves in the industry and lawmakers impose uh, restrictions such as seat belts and other safety features on cars. Now keep this in mind, gun violence is a large and complex problem that requires a variety of research-based solutions, um, uh, other propositions from other parties, etc. Examples like this include child exposure laws, safe gun storage, and responsible ownership, mental health treatment for suicidal thoughts, and addiction, background checks, uh, hospital or community-based violence intervention programs, etc. But ideological differences on policy issues will only hinder progress. Who is a gun I mean, uh, for? Uh, well, in this case, guys, I I somewhat agree with that notion. I, you know, I take a different, little bit of, of a slightly different position myself. This isn't the first time gun violence has hit close to home. 20 years ago, the mother of Paolo uh, lost another son. His name was Raymond Cordova. He was 15. He was shot and killed at a hotel in Northeast Harris County. Keep this mother in your prayers. Um, I can't imagine what it's like to lose two sons, no matter what the time difference is. It doesn't really matter. The mother 
mopped up her son's blood from the floor after the latest shooting. She then moves from place to place, seeking safety with relatives or hotels. However, she heard gunshots throughout the neighborhood at night and sometimes the roar of an ambulance. Rendon, who grew up in the area, wants better policing in neighborhoods near the Sam Houston Tollway and East, uh, East Tex Freeway, where drivers have been shot on back roads. This is actually something that's interesting, guys. Um, when you talk about Sam Houston East Freeway, I've been in some circumstances where you're just minding your own business. And you notice a car maybe circling, you know, a couple, circling the street a couple of times. And, you know, there's guys in the car. They're not really intentional with how they're moving. They're just kind of looking around, sitting in the car. Um, that's pretty common here in the city of Houston. You just have to keep your eyes open. This is the Bayou City Report. I'm out.